Hi guys, we have just completed this 16 solar panel installation complete with a massive 20 kilowatts of battery storage. It has a backup function on it, which the house is currently running fully on battery power and nothing else. Um, it's running completely off grid. Um, I'll show you how, let's go and take a look. Right, so this is where all the magic's happening down here. What we've got here is two 10 kilowatt solar edge battery storage units. Uh, they are currently sat on this nice uh, base system here. These bases come separately, so you, they, they uh, bolt together. And then the back bracket, it's got like a, a back brace on it here, which then bolts onto the actual wall, like so. And inside these panels here uh, are the circuit breakers and, uh, and, and functions of the system. So this is, these units are around about one point. They're about a meter tall by about 800 mil wide. And as you can see, they are about, I'd say about 250 mil wide. Don't, um, <laughs> those aren't exact figures at this point, but um, we obviously did make sure that we measured everything before we, we put it in. Um, the main thing I want to show you is exactly how the system works. So right here, this is the inverter. This is what converts the DC voltage from the uh, roof and turns it into AC voltage so you can use it in your home. So basically, these cables here come down from the actual loft, uh, directly from the solar panels, feed into this unit, converts the electricity into usable electricity in the home. And uh, yeah, this is what powers the home. This unit is a whopping eight kilowatt inverter which is absolutely huge so you can run you could run a cooker on that uh you'd be able to i've just been testing upstairs i had the hob working induction hob on with a saucepan on i had a 800 watt um microwave on as well i also they've also got their boiler system on which is soon to be an air source heat pump which the um the air source on it is seven kilowatts so that means that that will work uh, this this system will work the air source heat pump in the event of a power outage um, and it will also run it as well if there's enough in the batteries which there will be because we've got 20 kilowatts of power here 20 kilowatts of power there uh, so it will also run that too um, what's great about this system as well is the fact that you can add more power to this if you want you can add uh, I think it's up to 30 kilowatt I believe so you can add another uh, stack in front of that again, which in the world of battery storage is absolutely massive. That is whopping. Um, and don't forget as well, you've uh, on the roof of this house is 16 panels up there at 435 watts each. So you've got about 6,000 watt solar array up there as well, also putting power into the system. So yes, it is a very, very, very good size system we got here. Uh, these isolators down here are to isolate the actual solar array from the system for maintenance. Here is your meter here. This meter basically uh, tells you everything that the system's producing. Uh, it's an MCS requirement to have this unit here. Because um, uh, otherwise you're relying on the inverter system, which has, as you can see, there's no LCD screen or LED screen or anything. So it's all done through app. So you can't just rely on the app. You, you've got to have uh, actual physical proof of the generation here. And in this unit, we have our surge, protect, pr surge protection device, the SPD here. This will soak, in case there's any uh, spikes of power that come back up through the system, this will soak it up. Uh, your main isolators and your basically, yeah, your, your PV circuits in here with RCD protection. And this is the main isolator here. This basically just shuts, isolates the system from the rest of the house. So, uh, which brings me to over here. This is all the customer's general stuff that they've already had installed for various bits, ventilation and things, but this is the latest star of the show. This unit here is the backup interface. So this is where the real magic is happening. <laughs> I can't discredit the inverter and the batteries because that is also awesome, but this is a, the other half of the show, basically. So what happens here is, as you can see, you've got power lines coming in and power lines going out of there. So basically what happens is directly from the grid, after the meter, um, your main comes into this unit it then feeds out of this unit and it then goes off to feed it goes into like a um into like a link box system where it then distributes out to the house and uh, over across to the uh solar and battery storage unit so in a nutshell what happens is if the grid fails then 
there, what happens is there's a relay inside this unit which simply kicks in. It, it's this cable here that you see on the left, that is the data cable which is communicating with the inverter system. So what will happen is it will communicate with the inverter. It knows that there's a, a power down. It's letting the inverter know that there's a power down. Uh, the relay then suddenly kicks in and then uh, the, it's talked to the inverter to say, let's have some of that battery storage and some of that solar power. It then, then clunks together and then feeds back up the line up to the connection unit upstairs and then feeds the entire house. Um, this system is not a partial system either. This system is a complete system. So this will give you, uh, this will give you uh, a lot of these systems that you get will give you uh, like a socket underneath to be able to just plug in the Wi-Fi or, or run an extension lead off it just to power a couple of very low low draw items. This you, this system is not designed like that. This system is designed to power the entire house. So your fridge, your, your cookers, the lot. Obviously, you still want to be taking it easy because you're going to be rinsing through uh, re reserve power that you have because you don't know how long your power outage is going to be. But the main thing is that your fridge can stay on for hours. You could, you'll be able to, you know, uh, put, a pa put a pan on or two, you you'll be able to keep the house uh, warm, you know, all those types of things you'll be able to do uh, with a little bit of, um, with a little bit of thought basically. So a really, really good system. So I'm going to go upstairs now and show you, bearing in mind right now, everything is running down here off, off of this right now. The, uh, I've currently got it in a power down, um, you know, state. So downstairs, uh, upstairs, I've got the power off. So this is all purely running off of, the, the house is running off of this right now. So boiler's on right now, fired up, keeping the house warm. And uh, yeah, Wi-Fi's on, kids are happy. <laughs> and uh, all is good. So yeah, let's go upstairs. I'll show you, I'm gonna put the power back on and then I'm gonna drop the power and show you how good it is. Right, as you can see here, this is the mains position. And right here, we got the customer's consumer unit. This is what has always been here. This is powering all their, their entire house there. And um, so yeah, here's the main, the main head coming in. This main head is, this comes out the ground, basically from the street to the main fuse here, which then comes through the system, goes to this meter here. And then from the meter, it then drops down to our new system that we, our new backup interface. The backup interface that I was showing you is just sat down here. And then, uh, and then from there, the cables then come up and straight into this Henley block here. And then from here, it then splits off to do the house and it splits off and goes downstairs to the uh, solar and battery storage system. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm now gonna drop the power to the house uh, by isolating the switch. And this is now gonna be the equivalent of a power down this is going to simulate a power down. So currently the system is running as it normally would as if I wasn't here. So we're now going to simulate what happens if the grid fails and how it's about to power the entire house. Like I said, it's not just going to be powering one or two circuits in an emergency sort of state. This is a full backup system. So it's going to do absolutely everything. So here we go. This, if I just get the switch like that. Right. Okay. There it goes. Power's gone off for a moment. And it has now come back on. So right now, we are now fully running purely. I won't do a, uh, I would love to show you round and show you how I can turn all the cooker and everything on, but for, uh, for, uh, for obviously customer privacy, I'm not gonna do that. We're in their home, so yeah. But I can uh, tell you that all the lights are on around the house. As you can hear, there are auto doorbell uh, that's connected to the mains has come back on. The Wi-Fi is now coming back on and uh, yeah, they can now carry on cooking and the, the heating is remaining on. So very, very exciting. And uh, yeah, the system we've installed, we've in, uh, installed Jinko panels, 435 watts to the roof. And that is a solar edge system with an eight kilowatt inverter um, with two 10 kilowatt batteries given a 20 kilowatt uh, power system. And uh, yeah, it's all registered with the DNO, it's MCS registered. So we are good to go, another system complete.